Hello, everybody. Vasu Vadaparty for Zenny 62 Media for Thursday, August 6th, 2020. In honor of Oakland News Now, let's start off in baseball with the red hot Oakland A's, who have won five in a row and have finally found their power stroke. Matt Olson hit two bombs last night for the A's in a victory, and they're looking for their sixth in a row as they play right now during the daytime. They're closing out the series against the Texas Rangers. They have a 5 4 lead in the bottom of the seventh inning in Oakland. They're the second highest win streak team in baseball right now. The Red Hot Chicago Cubs have a six game winning streak and they're 10 and two overall and they're taking the National League by storm. So we'll see how the Cubs handle the National League Central, but right now a 10 and two start is nothing to sneeze at. Baseball has been so topsy turvy in 2020, as we all know, due to the pandemic. The Miami Marlins have only played six games, but they're five and one in their six games. They have a lot of games to make up and I don't know how their pitching is gonna hold up with potential double headers and not being able to take those few days off that they had, those six days. So we'll see if they can hold off the Atlanta Braves, who were favored to win the NL East. The New York Mets are also right there behind Jacob deGrom and his outstanding staff off the mound. The Washington Nationals, the defending, national champ, the defending World Series champions, I should say, Washington Nationals are in a little bit of a tough time here. Max Scherzer, their ace starter, left the game after two innings yesterday with a bad leg. Don't know what his status is. Don't know when he'll be back. But uh, Washington having some troubles right now as they're going to get back Juan Soto, who came off the coronavirus list that baseball has. So I'm not sure if the Washington Nationals can catch them or not, but we'll see. But I like the fact that the Marlins are 5-1, and one, and this has been a topsy turvy year. It'd be nice to see a team, especially a team that went through all their problems two weeks ago to kind of catch up. Moving on to the NBA. Everybody's been asking me why they're having these exhibition games or these playing games or whatever you want to call it. It counts as a regular season. Most teams ended up like 62 to 65 games before the shutdown happened. The reason that they came up with the number of eight games for these basketball teams to play is because if you get to 70 games for all the teams that are involved in this bubble in Orlando, by the way, zero positive tests for all 346 players uh, last week. So basically the bubble is working, everybody. So just want to make sure I threw that fact out. But they want everybody in that bubble to get to 70 games. And here's why 70 games is very important to the NBA and to broadcasting. If they get to 70 games, Turner and ESPN ABC will have to pay out the regular season money that they would owe them. If they did not get to the 70 games and they went straight to the playoffs, that money would have been held in trust or it would have been paid for next year or they didn't have to pay it. So the fact that they did, that they did get to the 70 games or they're going to get to the 70 games is basically what the NBA was looking for. And that's why they came up with an eight game schedule. And then in two weeks, the regular playoff format will start from seeds one through 16 in both conferences. G League basketball, talking about Oakland news now and talking about Bay Area news. The Santa Cruz Warriors are very popular in that Santa Cruz County for the last four to five years. It's very surprising the attendance and the players that they've had there have come up and helped the Warriors during their run. Well, it's a little bit of a drive from Santa Cruz to San Francisco, as you know. So what they wanted to do was they wanted to get a closer location. So they're thinking about Walnut Creek. The G League Warriors, who were popular in Santa Cruz, thinking about moving to Walnut Creek. And I think if you're going to do that, then I don't want you to name yourself the Walnut, the Walnut Creek Warriors. I think that's too generic. I think in that area in the East Bay, Contra Costa County, and Mount Diablo there, why not call yourselves the Walnut Creek Diablos? Just a thought. I would think about that, Joe Laka. If you're interested, uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can use that name, Walnut Creek Diablos. I'm Vasi Vadaparty for Zenny 62 Media. Have a good day, everybody, for August 6th, 2020. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.